Hey guys, it's teaching time with Miss Tidwell. I'm still outside again. It's so beautiful out. The birds are chirping, not the birds that were on Gerald's head, if you just heard the story with um, what I shared. But let's take a look at our calendar time for today. Yesterday, it was Thursday, March 19th, 2020. So remember, there are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in a week. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Nice breeze, huh? Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Who can tell me? Please tell me. Who can tell me what's today? How about if birthday boy from yesterday, Wayne, was here? Wayne would say that after Thursday comes Friday, Friday, Friday is my favorite day. ba ba bum ba bum ba friday Friday, Friday is my favorite day. Have your jazz hands. Oh, yeah. So it is Friday, March. Yesterday was 19th. So after 19, what's the next number? Remember, plus one is the next number. 19, 20. Today is March 20th, 2020. When we look at the number 20, we see a two in the... Is that the tens place or the ones place? The tens place and a zero is in the ones place. So two groups of 10 and no ones makes the number what? 20. Today is Friday, March 20th, 2020. Yesterday we were here 133 days, but 133 plus one more. Remember plus one means the next number. So 133, 130, bloop, four. One, two, three, four. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. That makes four. And remember, the picture and the number have to match. So now we have four in the ones place. This is the ones place. So what kind of number is 134? Even or odd? Are you gonna stay? Stay. Remember, if the back number's even, then the whole number's even. If the back number's odd, then the whole number's odd. So when we say zero, two, four, six, eight, even numbers are really great. What's a four? It's even. So since the back number's even, that means 134 is what? Even. 134 is an even number. And remember, I can count by tens with numbers galore. I can count by tens and I'll start with, can you say it? Four. Count with me. Four, 14, 24, 34, 44, 54, 64, 74, 84, 94, 104, 114, 124, 134, 134, we just used our ones, four, 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 to count by tens. And where did it change? It changed in the ones place. One group of 10, two groups of 10, three groups of 10, four groups of 10, all the way to 134. So if we wanna go ahead and write 134 in what? If you said, expanded notation you're correct so let's write 134 and expanded notation so if we said how many don't just say one remember it's one group of 100 100 now our tens don't forget to say plus 100 plus don't just say three it's three groups of 10, 10, 20, 30, 100 plus 30, plus, how many are in the ones? Four. 100 plus 30 plus four equals what? 134, that's expanded notation. 100 plus 30 plus four equals 134. How about, shoop, shoop, switcheroo. Remember, commutative property. You can add numbers in any order. The answer stays the same. The answer stays the same. How are we gonna write it? 
All right, so if we say 30 plus 4 plus, what have we not used? 100. It equals what? 134. How can we write it in a different way? 4 plus 100 plus 30 equals what? 134. Can we write it in another way? Why, yes, we can. 100 plus 4 plus 30 equals what? 134. All of those are different ways to get the same answer, 134. It's like a related fact, right? When we add our numbers in any order, 100, 100, 100, 30, 30, 30, 30, 4, 4, 4, 4, but our answer is the same each time. How about this one? Let's do a little bit of what's the weather like? What's the weather like? Who could tell me? What's the weather like? I'm gonna do a switcheroo right there. What's the weather like? Oh, it's a beautiful day. Some clouds in the sky, but take a look at the sun. It's shining, it's gorgeous. What's the weather like? Sunny. So let's add our what? Tally mark. Remember, charts, graphs, tables, they give us what? Data. So if we're gonna add our tally mark, Sunny, remember, when it looks like karate chop, one, two, three, four, hi-ya, that makes five. One, two, three, four, hi-ya, that makes five. One, two, three, four, hi-ya, there's a group of five. So we're gonna add it one more down here. And now, we're gonna be able to count our tally marks, just like you count nickels and pennies when you count by fives and then the ones. That's the same way we're gonna count our sunny tally marks. Ready? Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91, 92. 92. What can you say about the weather? You could say we've had 92 sunny days. You could say that we've had more sunny than cloudy. We could say that we've had the greatest number of sunny. We've had less rainy than sunny. If we counted all of our tally marks, it would equal 134. Excellent. What time is it? What time is it? Da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun, da -dun. I'm not finished. Hold on. Do, do, do. What time is that? Our hand? Three. It's not straight up, so it's not o'clock. One, two, three. Instead of saying it's three, three, Remember, there's nothing in the tens place. So we say 303. 303. What time is it? What time is it? Da 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 da. da. Boop. What time is this? Hour hand. Four. Minute hand. Look, it's on that mark. It's on the mark right before the five. So go back one time. Five, four. Don't say it's four, four, because remember, there's nothing in the tens place. So it's four, oh, four, four, oh, four. What time is it? What time is it? Da, 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 da. What time is it? On our analog clock, five. Don't say five, five. It is on the five, but there's nothing in the tens place. So we say five, oh, five. What time is it? What time is it? Da 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 da. Thumb. What time is it? Hour hand. Ten. Minute hand. Ten. Oh, 
with the number 10, it now has a number in the tens place and the ones place. So we can say it is 10, 10, 10, 10. If you wanna write digital clock to match the clocks, clock time we just said, you can do that, 303, 404, 505, 10, 10. You can write that on a piece of paper if you'd like to be able to write the uh, digital clock to match the analog clocks we just looked at. All right, have a great day. I'll see you back soon. Check in for a new video. Mwah.